Hello everybody and welcome back to Dead Cells. If you remember correctly, in our last run, we did indeed unlock our first boss cell and we put it in. We're going to give it a go and try it out. We're probably going to get just destroyed. Whoa. Okay, that was bizarre. We're probably going to get kind of destroyed, but we will see how it goes. We get the frantic sword in... Uh, okay, that's actually pretty good. Um, we get the quick bow... Or the greed shield. We'll take the greed shield for now. And the turpaz amulet. Nice one. Okay. Cool. So, yeah. On boss cell 1, we're going to be getting a lot of extra stuff. We've got this door here, which is now, I think, what just blew up. I'm not going to go that way for now because, um... Ooh, I can do this now. I see. Um, just because I think, um... I think we're okay where we are. But we just got to make sure we don't get hit, really. Because... We are going to be taking a lot more damage. Now, I do believe I still have the, uh, yes, I do, the extra cells mod on. So, I'm pretty sure boss cells increase the amount of cells you get even further. Also, you might notice there's some new enemies in certain areas, like this rat doesn't normally appear here. So we're going to be getting a hell of a lot of cells throughout this. But, as you can see, we're doing decently here. We'll try and get our 30 kill mark. Enemies going to be a little bit harder to kill and um, I think have a little more HP and they're going to deal quite a bit more damage. Like quite a quite a bit more damage. So we do want to be careful. We might want to try and abuse the greed shield a little bit to get some early money here as well. If we can manage it. Oh nice. We got ourselves the Bobby outfit. I think stun locking's a little harder on boss cells as well. Hey nice. We got a squirrel here. We don't really know what we're going for here but we're already on the red path, so maybe we'll just take red and go for that. I know that brutality isn't the best. Okay, we didn't lose too much health there. We did unfortunately get hit, though. We have reset our 30 kill meter. Okay, well, this way we go. But yeah, I actually quite like the boss cells. I think they're a really cool way of adding difficulty. Also, you might have just seen, down to the right there was an invisible enemy. Oh, hello. Let's feel so peaceful. Be a great relief. Oh, nice. Okay. This is from one of the DLCs. Um, I guess we'll take this. It doesn't seem as good, but we can now do nail strikes. Ooh, I like this. Got a chest here as well. Oh, this thing was really good last time, wasn't it? Unfortunately, it's neither red or... No, well, no, it's, it's, it's purple and green, so it's, it's not red at all, unfortunately, so we can't get much out of that. But yeah, if you look um, up here, look, there's an invisible enemy here. I see you there. Bit of camembert there. We'll leave that there for now. Hey, another, uh, another blueprint, a rare one as well. The door's open down here, so we can make our way through this way. Okay, so we want to be trying to use that Bombarder cannon wherever we can here. Ooh. Okay. I don't really know how that enemy works. So I've got, <laughs> I've got to keep my wits about me here. There's another invisible one down there. They're not that hard to spot, really. Um, you just got to be aware that they exist, really, more than anything. Just don't forget about them. If they can come up kind of anywhere. Nice. Good, good. Much more down here. Okay, that's the toxic sewers. I don't think I want to go toxic sewers, especially now that we've passed the two-minute mark. We have no real reason to go there. I, I kind of want to go to the dilapidated ab abrarium, is it called? Can't I, can I can never remember the exact name of it, but that'd be nice to go to. We'll try and unlock some more blueprints this run as well. But yeah, I'm really enjoying getting back into Dead Cells, and also I'm really glad that you guys are... Um... Okay, be very careful about this, dude. We got him. Took a bit of damage there, but it's fine. Um, extra jump midair is a little better, I think, so we'll take that. Unfortunately, it's like that only gives us one. Ooh, hello. Here's a scroll. It's another thing we haven't found many of. Um, maybe I'll go purple here. Try and build towards purple a little bit, just because I really like this turret thing we got going on. Also, what is this? Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a head crab right there. That's a head crab right there. Oh, damn. Nice. We found the uh, the Gordon Freeman suit and the, the crowbar. Nice. I forgot that was a thing. 
Okay, let's let this guy get to the door, and then we do that to stun him. Nice. Nice. Always try and use the doors for that stun effect. It's super powerful. Good. So one thing we can do with this uh, this nail here is we can bounce on these heads to deal critical damage. It's a little bit awkward to do, uh, like in the middle of like the heat of combat. But I'm gonna try and use it where I can. I can also do upward strikes as well, like I just did there. It's not always gonna be the best tactic for us, but if I can do it, I will try. Okay, so that's the promenade. Don't know if the if the dilapidated aerarium or whatever it's called always spawns. It might it might not be something that spawns every time. Oh no, here it is. There you go. We got it. Okay, we took a little while to get through that area there, but we got a hell of a lot of cells out of it, so I'm pretty happy. We don't hit either of our marks in the doors, unfortunately. So obviously we've got the new outfits, which... Honestly, outfits are fine for later on, but right now we probably want to just keep what we've got. So we got a good amount of cells there. Um, let's try and go for this first. And then we'll put the rest into the crowbar, I guess. And we can take this. Um... Leap into the air violently and land back down and inflict damage. Yeah, let's try that out. I mean, it's purple because it's colorless, which is really nice. Um, we'll upgrade it. Shoots a volley of arrows. Fair enough. Same with this one as well. 10% damage when we're near it. Good enough. Right, so let's see what purples we've got here. We've not really got great purple ones, to be honest. 12% um, chance if you need a deployed skill. Let's try that out. We've not really played with that one yet. Oh, and this is something I forgot about. On the later difficulties, you don't get full refills on your thing anymore. It's only every every other stage or so. So we've got to be a little more uh, cavalier, a little more careful about how we use our potions. We can't just be gulping them all down every time. Um... <laughs> That is way better than I expected it to be. Okay, we get that plus damage thing when we're near our... Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Wow, that, that thing has way more range than I expected it to. We definitely need a better weapon. Our weapon right now isn't really putting it. But using this slam attack whenever we can is going to be good. Mm. Gotta be careful we don't slam ourselves up into the spikes above though. That would not be a good idea. Good. Oh my god. That's such a cool skill. Nice. Look at that. That's awesome. Ow. Careful about that enemy. Luckily we got that kebab right there to heal us near to full already. Okay, we need to look out for boss cell doors as well, because now we have access to some of the boss cell doors. Take you out. Yeah, we definitely need a better weapon. This weapon's fine, but it's just, it's not great. Take that. Obviously, at the minute, we're not getting much damage out of it as well, because we're not beefing it up with brutality. We need to get a purple weapon, really. Ooh, we got Wall of Denial. But this is kind of what we're looking for right now. Wall of Denial's good, but we want to take something like Lightning Bolt here where we can actually deal some good damage. And it's obviously uh, enhanced by purple too. Nice. Got 
got you. And we got that nice ability to deal some critical damage too. Marsha the Banished. Nice, we just gotta make sure we don't overcharge. Good. I don't really know why I haven't haven't been here. God damn, I can't believe I just hit the spikes there above me. Did not mean to do that. Just quickly jot down over here. I just want to check what's down this little bit over here. I've missed out on. Yeah. Make sure I'm not missing out on anything good. Beautiful. We do have some sort of challenge over here. Let's do that. This isn't poison, that's good to know. And we got ourselves this, which is green, unfortunately, so not really what we want. Let's recycle that for now, then, I guess. Okay. Let's make our way through this, this floor over here, then. Morris of the Banished. I don't know how hard this floor is, but we're going this way now. Bar done. Get the magnetic grenade done. And then just gold reserves, I guess. Um, inflicts criticals for eight seconds after destroying a door. Dude, that sounds awesome. Anything near it inflicts shock. That's also really cool. Doesn't do much DPS, though. No, we'll, we'll, we'll stay with what we've got for now with them ones. But the crowbar seems awesome. Might want to reforge it, maybe? Yeah, let's reforge it. Mm, Biter's Crawl from the Dead's pretty good, but... Eh, not great. Not great. Hmm... Critical hits reduce skills. Maybe we'll do that. I like that one. Okay, now we can actually fill up our uh, our bottle properly. HP restored, good. So we'll see how this ends up working. This might be a stage that has no doors. Uh, where this we've we've been here before. We've been here before. I remember this area now. I wasn't sure if this was the area I was thinking of, but it clearly is. So we should be good to go in here. Right. Yeah, destroy destroy doors when we can, but obviously. Oh, we've got to fight one of these things. Here. What the fuck? Dude. Wow. I got demolished by that thing. Okay. <laughs> I tried to heal. Didn't have time. Um, maybe taking a weapon that has an inability to crit on that boss was a bad idea. Probably going to be the, uh, <laughs> the best assessment of what happened there. We'll, we'll carry on, though. We'll do another. That was not great. Okay, we'll stick with that. Electric whip. And we'll take that. Okay, the electric whip might be kind of good. I've not really used that before. Let's try it out. Ooh, we got the grenade though. Nice. Well, you can kind of spam it. This seems to make it pretty good. Another shield, nice. Ooh, cherries, good, good. Okay, it doesn't have great range. The daggers might be a little better for us right now. Get you again. Good thing is these first floors are very good for cells, so... Even if I'm dying and having to redo the early stages, we're getting cells out of it, so that's fine. Good. Ignore that area up there for now. Keep moving down. I kind of want to try and be a bit speedier here and get into our areas. Just so we can get that two minute mark door, because that seems 
it'd be a big stepping point on whether you whether or not you start with a good weapon or not. Really? Both the enemies I went for there were out of my reach. YOLO. <laughs> you see that then? That guy just said YOLO and jumped off the edge. We really could use a, um, a thingy though first. A scroll. We don't want to be entering the next stage without any scrolls. Dude, calm down. Damn it, dude. God oh, damn, the enemies hit hard. We're at a minute 42 right now. Pick another one of these, nice. Looks like we're not getting a scroll, unfortunately. This right here is my last chance. Nope, no scroll. Boo. No scroll for us. That's going to be uh, pretty problematic. I would say pretty problematic indeed. But at least we get to go in this door now. Throwing knives? That's pretty decent. Um, yeah, let's try out throwing knives here. Let's give that a go. I should probably heal up, but I don't need to. Ice shield. Gold reserves. Hopefully we get a few more blueprints dropping here and there. I don't think I need that for now. Reforging's fine for now. We'll take something that's going to give us some healing, I think. A bit of necromancy. Yeah, we can pick up that at least. Head on our way. Okay, into the toxic sewers we go. Yeah, we're definitely noticing the difficulty bump here. We're taking a lot more damage on the, the hits that we are taking. So we just got to be a little more cautious with certain enemy types and what, how to actually avoid some of these attacks. That was terrible. We completely missed there. Okay, this is go a good amount of bleed damage. This is similar to the build we had before, actually. Look at that. Yeah, that, that works out nicely. We just got to know when it's best to use what. That was stupid. Let's be careful. I accidentally jumped like all the way down there. So let me let me go back around. That's what I meant to do. Obviously not what I ended up doing. Okay, this is a good strategy here. What's what's over this way? Scorpions, you really got to be careful for. They are very deadly. We're getting a lot of them right now. But we are also getting a hell of a lot of cells. No, no, no. That was... Oh, my lord. That was terrible. I accidentally rolled. And it just completely destroyed me. Wow, boss cell one is a huge step up in difficulty. <laughs> Basically, if you get hit, you are going to die. You don't have time to heal. No, you are dead. That is it. You're dead. Okay, let's carry on though. It was, it's it's going to take some practice, it's going to take some time. It's a bad weapon to get, honestly. Very bad weapon to get. Very bad weapon to get, oh my lord. Just very slow, so it's going to be a problem for us. And I suppose I could try and use my fire, but I don't think the fire really is that good. I suppose I could do that, though. One hit with the, uh, with the flint, then another with the fire. Honestly, if we charge it up, though, I think we can do a good amount of damage if we charge it up. So we found this area again. We 
Unfortunately, the fire stops at the door. Dude, you always hit me. Go away. That's good. That's good. Alright, let's move back. Try we just need to get a scroll early. We didn't get any scrolls that last round. That hit! Dude, the zombies do so much damage. Heck off. There's a scroll. We got one at least this time. Oh, we found uh, some cheese by accident as well. Go with green. Dude, how does a crit not kill you? Fuck you. Okay, I'm gonna lose it here. Nope, I'm good, I'm good. I might just have enough time here. You bastard, I hit it on dead on two minutes. You better not shut that door from me. You better not. That better open. Yes. <laughs> I would have been so annoyed if that didn't open then. Uh, we'll take the root grenade here. Root grenade's pretty good. This thing's slow as hell, but it seems pretty beefy. <laughs> Good. We got that taken care of. We'll go for the specialist showroom as well. We are running out of blueprints pretty fast though. Okay. Go with that. There you go. It's nice that you get that one health flask just to refill a little bit. It's definitely better. Don't know if that's going to be the thing that saves us, though. But it at least means the mistakes I make on the first floor are somewhat made up for. God damn, this thing's beefy. What, what, what does this thing even do? Crits for six seconds if you quickly tilt kill two enemies. Okay, that, that's pretty good. Six seconds worth of crits is pretty high. That guy hit me, god damn it. I think the scorpions might be a problem for us with this weapon though. Just because we don't hit very quick. Kinda hard to like keep it going and stun lock those guys as soon as they spawn. Oh no, actually that was okay. The timing was oh really, jumped right into a puddle of poison there. These rats are a problem, I'll tell you that for sure. We're getting a little better at dodging some of these enemies. And I do mean just a little. Okay, I'm in the poison. The poison's not a big deal. We can deal with the poison. That was so close to getting hit by that then. Good. Got two players. How does that not look you? Yeah, unfortunately, a little fire things we've got going on are pretty terrible for us right now, so we're not even really using them. Our little second disability here. They don't really do enough damage to be, be worth anything to us. That hit me, but damn it. Let's just heal up here because we know that we're going to get a full heal and we'll start on Oh my lord. That was brutal. Did not see that coming. Okay. 
<laughs> we managed to get a good amount there. And we've actually got another thingy here, although it's the wrong one. We're not using either of these, which is slightly annoying. But it is more health, at least. Kind of need that. Ah, go down. That was kind of close. Go away, you. Where the hell's the escape out of this hellhole? Don't you dare blow up on me, thank god. Yeah, at least, at least the rats are enabling crits for us. Dude, what the hell is it with those things? My weapon is way too slow to kill those dudes. Super preemptive with those guys. Definitely need a better weapon. This could be it. Nope. Just a grenade. I will still take that though. Pretty good. Pretty good. Down this way we go. Still figuring out some of the areas here. Still don't know them super well. Boy, what up? I'm gonna pass right through the Spartan sandals with plus 300 damage and plus 300 damage taken. Sounds kind of spicy, but I think I'll pass. <laughs> I'm already taking more than enough damage to get me killed right now. I don't think adding more damage onto that is gonna be the, the, the most optimal solution for us here. Oh my lord! I don't know why this is gonna take us. Okay. Just for some money. There you go. Just keep slamming on that guy. That'll work out. Dude, that hit me. Okay, keep it going. We got the scroll here as well. We're good. We're taking green. I think we're taking green, aren't we? Yep. That we are. Okay, we got another bomb fly coming up up here. So let's uh, try and deal with that in the most elegant way possible, please. There you go. Like that. Got the range on this thing is really nice. Can stay reasonably out of enemies' way. Why? Why on earth did it not hit there? It didn't slam. It was supposed to slam. Okay, so now I'm on the brink of death, but I'm pretty sure I'm very close to the exit. So, hello. Thank you. Ah, oh, another squirrel. Good stuff. Oh, that's all one door. Hello. It's just more enemies. Dude, what the hell? Was that it? I think that was it. I'm just gonna leave because I almost died in there, so I'd rather not die. This has gotta be the exit, right? Did you get it? Oh god. <laughs> You'll regret this. Okay, I guess I will, but for now I'm just gonna keep it and run on. Don't yeah, no, no, no. Oh my lord. The fear that enters my heart every time I see one of those little bat things appear. I 
Okay, first of all, I want that. That is very nice to see. Nothing over there. Where on earth is the exit to this stage? I jumped right to an elite. I have no idea what this elite does. And I'm kind of scared to find out. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm just going to leave you alone, elite. My god, the ramparts! Quick, escape! <laughs> oh my lord. That was difficult to say the least. Do we have to spend all these cells to, to get through? No, I don't. Thank you. I needed this desperately. Right. I'm hoping that I can get through to the boss with all these cells. I might not be able to, but we're going to try it out. The ramparts, and then the still area, I think it's called still village or whatever, and then we're at the boss. Then we've got to beat the boss. Kind of a while away yet, but we'll, we'll see. I don't really care if we lose the cells at this point, because we've got very little to spend them on anyway. Oh my lord. No thank you, sir. Still, I feel like we've not really got much damage going on for us right now. Kind of feel like we still need some damage going on. You can, you can bugger off. And fire will kill you, I think. Indeed it did. Ooh, hello. Not exactly what I wanted, but I will tear. Yeah, health is looking a lot better now. Still not great. Nothing much down there for us, unfortunately. I'm just gonna keep running on. Try and get to the end of this stage. I wanna I wanna plow through these as quick as I can, really. That was a very good choice that I just made there. Yet another one where unfortunately we don't get the choices we want. Sad. Really that hit me, okay. Alrighty then. Yeah, actually our grenades here are, are really, really good. I think we've got a good setup for our grenades. Don't know what that enemy is, I want it gone now. Okay, okay, I'm having trouble now. These bird things are very hard to hit with our current setup, so... Yep, I'll heal up once after that, I think. Right. Still can't get through there, okay. I think the next area where we can go down is the area we want to go in. I really don't want to go anywhere with any of those birds, though, because I can't hit them with this weapon very easily. Let's skip that just in case, then we'll come back, maybe. Good. Let's get those crits going on for the extra skill cooldown. Push that guy off the edge, great. Kind of love doing that. Same with you. Goodbye. Just funny. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We made it down to the Black Bridge. Okay, this is the boss, right? I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure this is the boss. We shall find out in just a moment. We just gotta survive the boss now.
1% of HP recovered per attack. Close call, extra damage taken. No, thank you. Whatever. Um... I might just take Vengeance here, just in case. Right. On to the boss boy. Might die to this guy, because I'm pretty bad at this boss at the best of times. So, let's just see how it goes, I guess. I think the Root Grenade is going to be really nice, but we don't have the ability to activate crits on this fight with our Lance, so that could make things take considerably longer. Good thing is, we do have a quite large attack range, but... As you can clearly see, we're not really doing that much damage right now. This is going to be a long fight. Ow. Make sure we heal up when we need to, if we can. Like now. Okay, we've we've entered into his next phase. What the hell, dude? That attack's supposed to be over, you little giblet. You bumble, god damn it. Guys, a pain in the ass. Dude, stop. Stop with that attack. <gasps> this weapon sucks, big donkey dick. I swear to God, stop pulling me towards him. <laughs> Having such a hard time. It's my fucking weapon. He's dragging me towards him. Oh my lord. You stay over there, sir. Dude, stop pulling me towards him. This is basically I am now completely at the whim of my grenades. If I can survive until I get my grenades, then I have an okay-ish time. Otherwise, I have a bit of a hard time. Oh my god. You're such a bastard. Stop. Dude, 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 you just keep attacking too much. I don't have time to prepare for any of this. No, no, no. Dude. Dude, stop! Thank God! Holy hell, that was difficult! My lord, that was difficult. The hell out of here. <laughs> oh, we made, we made the 15 minute door as well, that's nice. Go for that. Fill that all the way up. Nice. That's good stuff right there. Fill me up, Doc. I need it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, let's go straight onto Stilt Village here. My goodness, that was tough. At least we managed to fill it all the way up so we get everything on a plus quality, which will be very nice. Another boss cell one door here. Still very much need a better weapon. This weapon is strong as hell, but my god does it attack does its attack speed make things feel pretty awful. Dude there. Oh, not the crap, you just 
strong. Get us on the chest. Please give us a better weapon. Okay, crowbar. It is unfortunately the wrong colour though, so I think we will lose quite a lot of damage. All it says that we won't, so I'm just gonna take it. We need to try and get a green weapon at some point here, but we'll see when. Okay, when it's not getting crits, it's pretty awful. Oh my lord. Yeah, when it's not getting crits, it's not so good. Let's try going in here, get some treasure. I see you there. You can't get me. Aha. This isn't really doing what I need it to, is it? But I don't know if this is any better. Oh, dude, that guy hit me hard. I've got to keep fighting him, though. There you go. Damn. Not really what we're looking for at all. It'd be tough. You could very easily die around these around these parts. I kind of think we're at the stage where we kind of have to skip enemies. With the setup we've got going on right now, okay, let's get in here at least. Nope. Oh my lord. Another heal coming in. Heck in hell. What's this? Hmm. Intriguing. Give me that key. Yeah, crowbar's really not doing much for us here. It's almost good enough, but the attack speed plus the kind of hard to activate crit effect making it not so good. Please give us a better weapon. Inventory grenade, heck. Not what we wanted at all. What the hell's up here? Can we can we get ourselves up there? Nope. Oh wait, 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 wait. That kinda works. Hmm. Maybe I need double jump for that. Oh, I do have double jump. What man I'm out. Get scroll. Still going with green despite well, it was kind of needing red now. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're really in a bad spot for weaponry here. It's taking forever to kill things. Just leading to a lot of problems. Oh my god. Almost out of potion as well. Oh my god. Just keep running. Hope for the best. Oh, we got um, the wrenching whip there. Interesting. Yeah, I still need the, the, the lock over there. Got to go back. Some cherries is rather nice there. Right, where the hell is the, uh, the, the door with the key? Obviously missed it on this bit over here. That dude's scary as hell. Let me up. Oh my god, I have to kill them, aren't I? That's a big old gem right there. Ow. Okay, we're out of... Okay, here's the key. Right, how do I get there? Um, oh, I see it. I'll go through here. Nope, I think I'm wrong. 
I don't know how to get over there. Right, back down, all the way to the bottom. Obviously somewhere over here. These dudes can go F off. Ow. Okay, into the key room, please. I honestly can't be asked killing this dude. It's gonna take too long. I've learned today that my build is quite important and I need to be careful with it. Oh my god. Also, the enemies in Stilt Village are going to wreck me up every time. Every time they're going to wreck me up. Right, we at least got through to here. Into the clock tower. I don't know if we get um, a potion refresh on this floor, though. We just got one. I doubt we will, which is very problematic. We maybe get a better weapon via this. Uh, oh, not really. Hunter's Mirror. Sounds cool. I mean, I... Yeah. Oh, wait, what? What's the... Oh, the reload. Interesting. If I have to reload it every time, I guess? I don't know. Anyways, let's just stick with this. Yeah. Unfortunately... We're only getting one usage of that now. This is where hard mode really kicks your butt. <laughs> We're probably going to die pretty quickly on the clock tower here. But this is fun. This is, I, I like it being more difficult. I don't want to just tr completely destroy the game every time. This, this leads to a lot, a, a lot bigger sense of progression. I may have made a terrible mistake, by the way, in, um, in bringing this crossbow with me. You may find that that's a just awful idea that I've had. But also, it might end up being great. I don't really know what the point of the reload is. Let's actually have a little look-see. The next shot inflicts a crit. Ah, okay. Okay, so we can only kill one enemy at a time, which is slightly problematic. But it is one-shotting pretty much everything right now, which is very nice. A lot better than I was expecting it to be, I'll be honest. So maybe this is a good weapon for us. It's a little bit slow. Might cause some problems later down the line, but otherwise pretty good. Yeah. Making our way up quite, quite quickly here. That still hit me. Lovely. I'm liking this um, thingy effect as well. The pulling effect that it's got going on with it. Very, very nice. And the freezing as well. It's all just some good shit. There's a chest as well. Ice bomb? Yeah, we'll take an ice bomb, I think. Right. All the way back down. We actually missed a scroll down this way, which is good to know of. And as we had. The map is very useful for stuff like that. Yeah. Get back here, you. Over this way it must be. Clock Tower was always a really annoying stage. You just end up running around a lot. I kind of wish it was a little more concise. But yeah, basically whenever we've got the free time to do so, we should uh, we should reload for that guaranteed crit shot. I mean, some of these enemies we don't need to because we do one shot them anyways, like these dudes. But it's still a good, good habit to get into for later on. What the fuck?
not even sure what happened there. Okay, let's just try and get back up to 50% HP here. Um, he hit me without swinging his arm, so that was a bit bullshit. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Definitely a good look into boss cell 1 and how that's going to be going. We'll try our best. I might go in custom mode and try and get some more um, blueprints here and there, just because we're unlocking them relatively slowly right now. Uh, I was hoping it'd be a little faster than this. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.